A lot of commuters will tell you you can't always count on the MBTA. But lately, you can count on the T to shut down a major line and promise a faster ride. Tonight, the T says that the red line is closing next. As WBZ's Brandon Truitt shows us, commuters are hoping that this time they'll see drastic improvements. This news is really just the nail in the coffin for some red line riders. A two week partial closure of the line on top of the headaches they've been putting up with for the better part of a year. Oh, it takes forever, like an hour maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's so crazy. I was going to take public transportation, but I'll be late, so I actually have to take an Uber. <laughs> red line riders are used to finding a workaround, but another setback is set for mid October when the MBTA plans to close the JFK to Ashmont and the Mattapan lines for 16 days. The T's general manager says the closure is for track work and would consolidate six months of weekend work to two weeks. We just felt like we really needed to get in and get done and take care of it sooner. The number one source of headache I hear from riders in Boston is about the red line. Troubled travel on the T is nothing new for riders on this line. They've been dealing with some of the worst of the year-long slow zones. We did it because we really wanted to be able to validate people's experiences. Jared Johnson is with Transit Matters. The organization tracks rider experience using the MBTA's own data. They found those red line slow zones have sent travel time soaring from 12 additional minutes of travel time just last August to nearly an hour and 10 minutes recorded on Wednesday. And riders are waiting longer for those trains. Transit Matters found trains are running roughly half the pace of their historic highs. It's all led to the sharpest decline in ridership of any line. 100,000 less people riding per day than before the pandemic. That's a loss of more than $200,000 a day in fares. And I think what's going to be really critical is, um, is that the team needs to make sure that they are being crystal clear about what riders can expect after the diversion is done um, and that they're actually able to, to, to measure up to that and that there is that appreciable benefit to riders. Again, the MBTA says the entire goal of this is to speed up the work to ultimately lift those slow zones. There will be shuttle buses provided just like we saw when the Orange Line closed last year. All of this begins on October 14th. In Dorchester, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.